Hi guys, so today we have another video on some if and some ifs function in Excel. So we're gonna go through both the functions today. So I have a data in here which says we have a region, we have a category, we have a sales and we have the quantity. So we'll, first we'll learn about the sum if function, how the sum if function works. So sum if function works on a base of an on a criteria. It's not it's a different from sum. Sum is basically when you're using the sum function, it's just selecting a particular range and getting the answer. But when you're using the sum if function, you are giving a criteria to that particular formula and getting the answer. So we'll just learn about how to use sum if. So this is the way you put in here sum if. So first thing it asks that what's the range? So you need to put the range. We need first our goal is to find out that how much sales has been done by the technology technology category. So we'll find we'll select this range. We want to find out from this range. We put in the function f4 and you block the cell. This is not compulsory, but I think so. This is a very good habit to do while if you are using an advanced Excel formulas. This always makes sure that the formula works properly, but it's not compulsory. But I would recommend to use it if you if you are working with the complex formulas. And the next thing it asks is the criteria. So what's the criteria? We want criteria is technology. We want to find out the sales for the technology category. And the last thing it says the sum range. What you want? What what's the sum range? So we want the C column out there. We'll function f4 and we'll close the bracket now when you close the bracket it gives us answer of 4293 so let's check if our answer is correct or not we'll select the technology here we'll just see and yes our answer is correct it's 4293 so this is pretty much easy while using the sum for some function and some if function sum is function is basically putting the first the sum putting first the range in which you want to find out then you put the criteria criteria was the technology and the third column refers to the sum range what you want to find out so this is the way sum if use now the next one is sum if ifs function so this is pretty much an advanced version of sum if because this generally brings out the uh, multiple criteria if we have a multiple criteria how i can show you so if you see a difference when you put in the sum ifs first it asks us a sum range and if we use this only sum if function it asks for a range so this is a difference between sum and sum ifs function so you guys need to be very careful while using it. This is a small change in the sum if functions and some if functions. So right now we select some ifs. So first we need to find out. Suppose if we want to find out that how much sales has been done by technology in the West region. How we can find out means we have a two criteria. First criteria is we want to find out that how much sales has been done by the technology team. And the second criteria is in the West region how much sales has been done. So you need to first select the sales range. So you select this one, and I said that putting up blocking up the cells is a good option always. So first is the criteria range. So you first our criteria first criteria would be this one. And you put in function f4 and you need to mention the criteria the mention criteria would be i want to find for the technology you put in here and when you put the comma in here it's asked for a criteria range too so our second criteria is the region we want to find out for the west region you select that one you put in function f4 and you put the criteria second is the west close the bracket so it has given us an answer of one two three eight six eight let's just find out we'll do a filter out here so you can even sell you can 
can press Ctrl Shift L. This is a shortcut for putting up a filter here. So we'll select West and we'll select Technology. Now let's see if we get the answer. Yes, the answer is 12386. So our answer is correct. So this is pretty much easy. The trick, the difference between the sum if and sum ifs is when, when some ifs can be used when you're using multiple criteria and as I mentioned earlier you need to be very careful because some if first asks for some range and some if function asks for the particular criteria of the particular range so this was it for this video guys thank you for watching it thanks